Welcome back to a new vlog. I decided that I wanted to just kind of really declutter bubbles. I am filming. Anyway, I decided that I really need to declutter my kitchen because y'all, it is a hot mess. Like, I need to just wipe through the drawers, actually clean my oven, clean my dishwasher, like all types of things. So. That's what we're gonna do today. I'm gonna start with the drawers first because I feel like they're not too, too bad. Like, everything in the cabinets are pretty good for the most part. Like, I feel like me and Dante do a good job of like making sure we put things back that it's like up, like it's, you know, it's kept pretty nicely. I'm just gonna wipe them down, like, because I think they need a good little wipe down. It's been uh, maybe a year since they've been wiped down, but that's okay. They're not like dusty and crusty or anything like that, but I just feel probably better if I just like wipe them now, because I may see it, some dust or something. I don't know. Anyway, let me show y'all what I'm working with. All right, so like I said, cabinets look really good. I just want to really like go through and just wipe everything down. Looks okay over here too, I think. Yeah, it looks okay over here too. I may just kind of reorganize and restructure some things over here too. Maybe get rid of some things I'm like looking at. I'm like, oh, I don't really use that. Just gonna do like a whole little decluttering. And over here, I do need to kind of do a little bit more work. So as you can see, like, just like random glasses <laughs> kind of everywhere. I do want to restructure this a little bit. So this definitely needs a little more work. And these over here are good too. Like. I try to do a good job within the cabinets, but with in the drawers, <laughs> they need a little bit more love. And there's just like more crumbs and stuff, so it is what it is, but let me stop stalling. Let me just go ahead and jump right into this. I wanted to show you guys this product that I got to clean the dishwasher. I'm gonna go ahead and clean the dishwasher while I'm cleaning everything else because It'll just run. So essentially, all you do, it just kind of removes like any buildup in the dishwasher. I don't know if you ever noticed like buildup or like kind of grime in your dishwasher. I do want to go through and like scrub a little bit. So I am going to scrub a little bit with like um, really like some soap and water. Not too, too much soap because I don't want to like make, I don't know, make it all foamy and stuff. Um, you get what I mean. You get what I mean if you've ever put like too much soap or accidentally put dish soap in the dishwasher, like literally all the soap, like all the suds will like come out of the dishwasher. But anyway, I'm gonna go through and like scrub some areas too because I do, I just do like, I feel like it needs a good scrubbing. And then I'm gonna go through and put this product in. Um, and so you're supposed to use it like once a month to clean your dishwasher, like apparently, you're supposed to clean your dishwasher very, very frequently, which makes sense because it's like a box of like just germs. Like you're putting like dirty dishes in it and if you don't clean it, like then it's like, are your dishes really getting clean? So I am going to go through that, do that really quick, let that run and then start the rest of the kitchen. accidentally poured the contents in here instead of the bottom so let me do that now <laughs> and maybe I can just let's see hold on there we go <laughs> um it's not even but I think it'll be fine Spice drawers bad. They are like, I don't know, just really like cloudy looking. Like, I feel like some of these, they're empty. I'm like, I don't know. Okay, never mind. When I wipe them down, look. Look at, look at the one that I wiped down compared to this. This is disgusting.
Okay guys, so it is the next day because when I was in the midst of doing this the first day, I got my kitchen lights, okay, which I'll show you guys in the next vlog what they look like. And I was just so excited I had to put them up and then I got sidetracked and just really lost track of time. Really, it's not even the next day actually. I did this like maybe two days ago. done all the drawers which are good to go I'm gonna just like really reorganize a lot of the cabinets as well and then wipe them down if they need to be wiped down some of them probably not some of them yes um, and then I probably need to clean the oven next and then hit the pantry and of course I'll clean the floors and things like that but the pantry is like kind of like when I'm dreading a little bit so Anyway, let's just continue with the decluttering, okay? All right, the other cabinet was like low-key pretty good. This one is okay. I do need to wipe it down a little bit, so let's wipe her down. Okay, much, much better. Um, still pretty like good. I like low-key hate how the builder adjusted the shelves because they're not like even if that makes sense um but i do need to like move some of this stuff down my like dante low can be like making stuff out of reach when he be putting the dishes back yeah i said that dante if you're watching like i'm mean, like i can't get close to that okay and i use this a lot so i need to adjust some things, make things accessible for me because I am a little shorter. And I'm actually really proud of us because we do a really good job, I feel like, keeping, just like with the upkeep of everything and just making sure that we just put things back. I will say my glasses need a little bit more rearranging, but it's not like horrible or anything like that. It's just, it just needs a little, got some of the pink stuff which I'm so excited to try this I've been seeing this like little paste all over TikTok so actually let me take my ring off so I've been seeing all over TikTok and it's supposed to be like I don't know like a really good just like cleaning paste um and apparently it has like natural ingredients too so it's like good for um like your home too as far as like toxins and things like that so anyway I am going to use that because I like have previously, which I'm kind of like cringing at like plugging this video, like don't go watch it, like low key. But I <laughs> previously have used like the whole like baking soda vinegar trick, which actually was fine. I like did it the wrong way in the video. It's a whole thing, but I just kind of like the idea of having like a one-stop shop product. I don't have to think about it. I don't have to like measure it out, which again, sometimes that stuff is fine and it works, but mm -mm, I'm just, I don't mean to move sometimes, especially when it comes to the oven. Like I already don't want to clean this oven, <laughs> if I'm being honest. So, but it needs to be cleaned, okay? Because I cannot tell you how long it's been since I cleaned it. Like we're not going to even talk about it. So 
Anyway, we're gonna use this and we're gonna see if it works. Like, I'm gonna be honest with y'all, so let's do it. <laughs> that it worked that well like it's actually worth the hype and this is perfect for me because sometimes I just want to know that like if I'm cleaning something like the oven that is gonna have tough stains that it's gonna work with like a product I mean of course I'll put a little elbow grease in it but mm -mm. All right, the oven is finally clean. I still need to go over like these little spots. I don't know if you guys can see it on camera, but these little spots are definitely a lot tougher that the paste could not get. So I definitely need to just go over it with the SOS pad. Um, but they did a pretty good job for the most part. Still need to go over like again, some of the tougher spots over here. I don't know if you guys can see kind of right in that area. So. Like I said, overall I did a good job. I would say maybe like, I don't know. I mean like look, you can definitely see that now, oh my God. Yeah, it's just like, this is just tougher right here. I'll have to stop by the store and get an SOS pad. But yeah, I would say maybe a seven out of 10. Like I think it's good probably for like daily maintenance of your oven, but if you have some tougher stains, you may need to use a SOS pad in combination with this, which is what I'm gonna do. So I'm gonna grab that and use that. Um, and hopefully everything else will come off. <laughs> Y'all, why am I dreading this so bad? It gotta be done, it just gotta be done. dread now I usually don't dread pantries I love pantries but I also just feel kind of uninspired by my pantry right now like it just needs a facelift like it's not giving what it needs to give okay it's not looking like the store that I wanted the aesthetic it's gonna be that and it's good and I'm thankful for where it is right now but you know it has to have my touch my hair looks crazy um so i think that's kind of why i was dreading it just like the closet it's just kind of like even though i do like genuinely like hate closet organization not gonna lie again i think not having that design in place like really just like it's a little uninspiring but it's no excuse All right, the kitchen is done, <laughs> 10.45. I honestly, like, it wasn't that bad decluttering everything. Pantry is all decluttered, which is nice. All the drawers look so good. I'm so happy with everything. 
all right guys i am exhausted that's it for this video i hope you guys enjoy this video and it inspire you to declutter your kitchen or your space if you like this video be sure to hit that like button don't forget to subscribe and i'll see you guys in the next video bye